Hey there, Internet! Today we're going to be talking about not only how to take these Java files here, compile them, and turn them into programs, but then we're going to talk about how you can take those programs and run them in a Linux environment. Now, before we begin, if you want to learn how to do these with C and C++ files, I made a different video. Again, you don't have to see this one first, or, or you don't have to see the C uh, and C++ one first, but at some point, if you do want to see it, I'll have a link down in the description. I'll also try and throw one of those cue cards somewhere around here up at the top. But, if you're all good, let's begin. Now, to, for starters, I made a Java folder where I not only can store my Java files, or I should say my Java code files, but I can store the compiled bytecode um, also and not have it me meshed in with a bunch of other documents and other stuff that I have. Again, this is optional, it's not mandatory, but I just find it, it keeps everything nice and organized and so much easier, and I called it Java. Also, I'd recommend open, you would navigating to that folder in your terminal because you will definitely be needing to use your terminal for this process. Now before we start to compile we have to make sure that there's a couple things installed. You definitely for starters will need a text editor. Most Linux systems will come with a text editor installed such as mousepad, uh, there's leafpad, if you have wine installed on your computer it'll have uh, notepad installed with it too. But personally I think the best way to do Java and any other kind of coding, especially on Linux, or I should say basic coding, is with gedit. And we'll talk about that in a moment, about why that's a good idea. Now to make sure that you have it installed and how to install it, you need to use the command sudo app get install gedit, just like that. And now when you hit enter, it'll install it. Now because I already have it installed, it's basically going to tell me that gedit's already been installed and so on and so forth. Now the next thing that you need to make sure that you have installed is your Java JRE and JDK environments. Now you can do this by checking the version by doing Java C hyphen version and this will tell you what Java C or Java compiler you have installed and I have the current version which is 10.0.2 now if you don't have this installed or you're missing one of the components you can again use sudo app get install either and then you can either do the JR, JRE version or the JDK version now you're going to need both of these, and so I'll show you how to install both of them. So once again, sudo app get install df so just like that, so sudo app get install default hyphen jre now, because I already have this installed on my system, it's again going to say that this is the newest version. Now, the JRE is the basic component of Java. This allows you to run just about any Java file imaginable. Now, all systems like Linux, Windows, and Mac have their own particular version of JRE installed. And then basically, this allows you to run not only Java programs that you've made, but this will allow to install any thing that needs Java, web browsers, com system components, whatever it may be. And then th basically, this is the basic components of Java. Now, we can do the JDK, which I believe is the, which I should say, is the development version and this will allow us to compile the Java code we have here 
into a executable file that we can then run. So again, it's sudo apt-get install default JDK, followed by enter. And again, it's going to tell me I already have it installed on my system, so it's going to tell me that it's the newest version. Now, if you didn't have any of these installed, it'll just run through and it'll show that it's going out to repositories and getting them and doing all this complex stuff. So now that we have these components that we need installed on our system, now what we need to do is we need to compile the, well I should say, compile them. Also, if you haven't edited, ed, edited your files first, or you don't have files to begin with, you can use GC, I'm sorry, you can use gedit. So if we go gedit, and let's open up the hello, hello dot java file, it'll open it up. Now earlier I mentioned that it's good to use gedit. And also, if you've noticed, the text is colored. And that's why I like to use gedit, because gedit has a function where it can color code and kind of has a, a step or two closer to like a, a development environment and where it'll color code and it can recognize commands and keywords and stuff like that. And again, it'll color code. And you can see here as I scroll through, these are all the languages that it can understand and color code. And again, because we're using Java, we're going to leave it on Java. And you can see here, I already have my Java file typed out. I'm going to close out of that. And just for the heck of it, we're going to open the other, the add file. And there's the add file. Again, things like fours, the for loop is color coded. The variable settings and initialize like int and double are set up. The import command is color coded. So it and values are also color coded. So again, you won't see this in other or in a majority of other text editors. Again, this is why I rec highly recommend gedit. So we'll close out of that. Now now that we have our files completely made, and like I said earlier, we have to compile them. So to compile them, you have to do Java C followed by the name. So let's start with hello.java. And then it, it's hiding back here, but then you'll see there's not only a hello.java, there's a hello.class. Now this is the bytecode that has been compiled and if you almost want to say in a sense converted into a language that the computer can understand and that the processor can understand and execute this is basically what the file is so this in a sense is our program and I did program in air quotes <laughs> so there you go now if you want can also compile the add and if you want we can add ooh, space we can add verb verbose mode and when that compiles it'll show you all the processes and commands that it's running to compile the file here so now that we've compiled it, you can see that there's an add.class, an add.java, a hello.class, and a hello.java. So now that we've had them compiled, and that was using the JDK environment, we can now use the JRE part of Java to run the program. So Java, space, and the name of your file. So hello. And again, it will output, hello, my name is Indigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. And again, if you haven't seen Princess Bride, great movie to see. This is so well known, and everybody knows this quote from the movie. 
Again, if you're looking for a good classic movie to watch, The Princess Bride. But again, I thought this was a much better uh, way to do a simple print program than just doing Hello World. So there you go. You have... We threw a quote in there instead of just doing Hello World. Now, if we want to run the ad program, it's Java. It's, I should say Java space ad. And then it will run the ad program. So if we want to add some numbers, we'll do, let's say we want to add four numbers. We want to add one, two, three, and four. And it'll output our thing there. If we want to run it again, and let's say we want to do five numbers, we'll do, let's do 1.1, 2.2, 1 .1, 1 .2, 3.2, 1 .2, 4.4, we'll do 4, you know what, uh, let's do 0.4, and then 0.6, and there you go, it'll total our thing at the end. So, YouTube, that's it, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. If you like the videos, this video, and you also want to see the GCC one where we talk about C code, definitely check that out. If you want to see some more cool uh, computer and s other electronics videos, check out and subscribe to my channel. If you found this video helpful and you also liked it, make sure to not only hit the like button, but to hit the share button and share this with your nerdy computer friends that are in comp sci courses, because this could really help them out. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Bye.